Well, I think you could you, you could describe it in sort of cosmic terms. You could say it's it's a classical tale of good versus evil, which I think is is, is true. Um, but it's also to do with the. It, it's a great sort of adventure story about you know two rivals who at one time were very close and were friends and were allies, who and at some, some and without wanting to give too much of the story away. Um, something happens where one of them stays on the high road and the other one decides to go to the dark side. And both of them are trying to achieve, in a sense, the same thing, but from very, very opposite points of view. And so it's a sort of... Uh, it's, a, and it's, a, it's a rivalry that's gone on for millennia. I often think of the relationship between Maxim and Drake Stone as as that of a kind of dysfunctional family, like a, like a really overbearing father and a very kind of, and a son who's turned out to be a huge disappointment. <laughs> well, Nick's a bit nervous because it's his first Alfred Molina movie. He's a bit nervous, but uh, he'll get over it. You know, he's, he's coping very well, I think. You know, gets a bit shy, you know, but he's okay. We've had lots of good, fun, juicy scenes together. You know, lots of good dialogue stuff. It's been great. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. See, see, he, uh, Toby's like maybe it's a generational thing. Toby's roughly the same age as Jay, and again, a very, very talented young actor. Really, I mean, seriously gifted. And he's, uh, when it comes to improvising, he's like like a duck to water. I mean, you know, he's he's yeah, he's easy peasy. I mean, he's got no problem with it.